is to hand over to the man himself, Nigel Thomas Smith. Keith, thanks very much. Well, what an, what an encounter this. Back-to-back -back titles, is it going to be a third for New Zealand? They won in Port, Port Elizabeth pre-Christmas, they won in Wellington last week. 43 titles in 63 finals. Samoa, seven titles, 19 finals. And there the overall uh, balance shows New Zealand very much leading the way. They last met in a cup final in Hong Kong two years ago. And just remember, in case you think it's a certainty for New Zealand, Samoa won that one. Let's have a quick look at the team sheets then. Here's New Zealand. Well, look at the key element, the core of the team, those top four men, unity of experience. They started out together since George 2007. Five years together, Mickelson, Forbes, Ray Kambula and Sama. Sama who goes way back to Singapore in 2005, the magician. And so the new boys in, Price Heem coming in as a recall. The new man altogether, Mark Jackman and Charles Piatau. But don't forget, two injuries have changed both these teams. Solomon King with a shoulder injury, Frank Halai, he's on the bench as well and unlikely to be able to play because of leg trouble. And New Zealand, who last won the USA Sevens four years ago in San Diego. Here then are Samoa. As I said, they last met to NZ in a cup final two years ago in Hong Kong. They have no Lo Louis, they have Uali Mai again starting on the bench, which means uh, Afa Masanga steps up into the scrum half role. Man who's been so good for them this time on his recall, Paul Perez, who first played for Samoa in 2005. You've got the incredible Alafoti, Fao Saliva, coming back after 15s. He was going to, he stayed with the Sevens after all. Afaiono and Autangavea, whose first tournament here this very season was in Wellington. So, the lovely moment for the youngster to provide the ball as the teams come onto the field. And Scott Hastings is alongside myself, Nigel Stamersmith. Fantastic, fantastic atmosphere just building here. These two teams will give absolutely everything. The respect for the game, the physicality of the game, the fitness of these young athletes are, is quite exceptional. Yeah, perfect. Well, what an honour. A terrific honour for this man, appointed by the referee's <laughs> manager, Steve Lander. It's Luke Pierce from England, only his second tournament appearance. A 24-year-old from Exeter, full-time referee, and uh, what an occasion for him so soon in his young career. So here we go, 10 minutes each way in this cup final of the USA Sevens here in Las Vegas. And the first error, a little knock on. Well, how do you see the balance here? Very interesting, Samoa went down to Fiji by two tries and came back with two converted tries to win that semi-final. New Zealand have been an absolute powerhouse, outshone South Africa in the semi-final by 20 points to seven. You really fancy New Zealand, but Samoa are just going to give everything at it. Oh, wait, wait, Tomasi Sama, now straight away into <laughs> the muscular back division of the uh, New Zealand side, Ray Kambula, by the way, of course, is the man who steps up. Forward, or not? No. Now this is Tim Mickelson out wide. Such an elusive, Such runner, an elusive runner, as is this man, Tomasi Sama. Ray Kambula outside, but here's the break. And Bryce Heem stepping up, really, for the role of Frank Hallett. Doing so well. Taken quickly by Tomasi Sama. Kirtan no. no. and Nicholson in the midfield. It's away by Jackman to the court. He's trapped there. Having to retreat, but still retaining possessions. Kirtan 
big pitch coming in from Samoa. What else would you expect? DJ Forbes, though. He's been scoring more tries than ever in his career this season. And a penalty because he didn't roll away. It's such a contentious issue, the contact area. This is where New Zealand have been winning an awful lot of their ties. On that occasion, DJ Forbes was penalised, but they've concentrated and worked so hard on their drive play and their contact play in amongst that contact. On the bench, will he come on like he did in the last one? He looks like he's warming up. But a leg problem, Uali Mai, 75th tournament. Extraordinary, unprecedented, the record holder. Well, a pretty... Uh, Another 17 and a half minutes of it to go on. And then the breakaway, Mickelson. What a great ball winner he is. Forbes to Tomasi Sama. And wide again up the middle, Piotr. Into the hands of Bryce Heen. The Aucklander did so well in winning the provincial sevens in Queenstown this season. Ball went, knock on, a little error, a little pressure. Real pressure from Samar. Well, normally New Zealand, when they take the ball into contact, they're so secure. But on this occasion, and Nicholson's down, but on this occasion, the possession was lost because Samoa were able to get there quicker than New Zealand. Nicholson, of course, was down, so he couldn't get in support of it. Bryce Heem is uh, on his knee as well, and uh, it's a nose, uh, nose blood. Have to have that seen too. And Nicholson is okay. Well, there have been quite a few injuries, the, the intensity of uh, these three days contests. Look at this, there he goes down. And look at the counter up that came in there from Samoa. It's such a, a key area within the game to regain possession. The, the, their thigh strength and their upper body strength counters the bigger size of the New Zealand so, and other teams like it. And this is what I was mentioning, Nigel, about what New Zealand have been doing. They've been concentrating on the breakdown area so that when they put pressure on teams defensively, they've won more turnover ball in this tournament than any other team. And as a result, that's got them on the front foot. But on that occasion, it was Samoa almost doing a New Zealand on themselves. Time on. Well, you spend, a, you spend most of the time breathing through your mouth when you're playing, so you'll be all right. After Masanga. Touch! Pause. Engage. Under pressure from Asanga, but he flipped it away quite cleverly. Lavasa, and now Wai Perez. Perez must be a marked man by New Zealand, seeing his form at the moment. Side entry and off your feet. Bro. Side entry quickly taken. It's the excitement of sevens, isn't it? There's no stopping. There's no waiting. There's no pause. And from Tapu to Afamasanga. Can he get it on again to Tapu? Tapu looks for the pass wide, taken by Fai Saliba scores! Oh, the crowd have gone absolutely crazy. Look at him! The Samoan support here in Las Vegas at the Sandborg Stadium. Wonderful cutting try, collected by Fai Saliba, who was up in support. Brilliant build up, these two smaller men. But awareness, awareness and support. Look at Tapu and the pass. It may have been loose, it was good enough. And there's the man, the cut inside and the power. Well, not many forwards score well over 110 tries. Extraordinary. Samoa. In recent times, it's always been the forwards who are the top tried scorers. So, first blood to Samoa. The crucial there, Nigel, is the fact that the conversion was missed. Will that tell its own tale later on in the tie? The additional two points. His 114th try. For his 26 year old who first played in Dubai five years ago. Restart Lavasa. That will give Samoa confidence. They will be the underdogs here. New Zealand superb in the last two tournament wins. It's a long, long Second game man. in this final. Raikambula playing the role of Solomon King. Playing so well in the semi-final. Might well have been in the start line anyway. Here he goes again. 
to Charles Piotr. And the wider man is Mark Jackman. Straight in the deep end, this youngster, just 23, his first tournament was Wellington. It's a turnover ball, Second but it's time. an illegal. One chance only. Quickly taken, or is it not yet? Back to the mark. The mark, back to the mark. DJ Forbes just slowing things down, bringing it down into the Hands proceedings. You don't have to play at 100 miles an hour every moment in this game. Passes uh, New Zealand so much of the possession, but the score, the only one, is Samoa's. Certainly are slowing it down here. Riddle speed up any moment. Away by Jackman again. Piotr. Tomasi Sama. Oh, the little, the little Napoleon. Piotr again. Wide, wide, wide to Forbes. He likes going dead straight. The Maori sidestep, they call it. But he's Samoan of origin. Origin. Tackle and roll. Be aware. Taken quickly. Jackman from Hawks Bay. Right Kambula from Wellington. Piotr from Auckland. Good play, Bryce Heem. Then the switch again. Jackman, still possession, trying to create the overlap. Piotr doesn't have an overlap, but he's going on the outside. Is he getting round Tapu? Tapu with the tackle, the handoff is good. There's the equaliser. Tremendous strength on the outside by Charles Piotr. Look at the way. Great pick up by Rakabula. And look at him use the space. Did so well, read the angle with the fend as well. And then has the power to brush off his man. And then at the corner, Tomasi Thama, a kick for the lead. Two brilliant handoffs from Charles Piotr. The youngster, just 20. Made his debut this season in the Gold Coast and is establishing himself as a start lineup for New Zealand. It stays 5 all. Tomasi Sama not far off. And part of the team of Auckland who won the national sevens. Five apiece. Two minutes to play in this first half. It's flown by. What finals we have had here. What a tournament. In a matter of few weeks, it's going to happen again in Hong Kong, of course, next, and then Japan. Moving Just forward. put those in your, uh, in your diary. Pulled Take over. In, scrum. Scrum New Zealand held, didn't release it. More stationary. Taken by Blue. Good control by Luke Pierce here. Scrum Black. Such experience in this New Zealand <laughs> front row. DG Forbes, Raka Bulla, and Tim Mickelson. Crouch! Touch! Well, we've got Pause! Well over Engage! Of tournaments between them. Away by Jackman. This is the master of the midfield. But not so clever, and it's Perez who gets away. They'll chase, but they won't catch him. Heem chases the whole way, but it's Perez. What a tournament. And again, the Samoan support in ecstasy. Superb, but it came from a New Zealand mistake, an uncharacteristic mistake, actually. It was the runaround play by Jackman. Watch this. Jackman comes round, but the pass was not delivered by Thama. And as a result, Perez, he was as sharp as attack. Out sprinting Bryce Heen, dots the ball down, and surely this time the try will be converted. It is. And Samoa lead again, this time by seven points. Paul Perez, who uh, only playing his ninth tournament, but his first goes way back to Wellington 2005. And uh, well, he seems a sharper player than those earlier days. And for me, he's just looking so fit, Nigel. He's shone throughout this tournament here in Las Vegas in the Sam Boyd Stadium. He's been a superb athlete. Right, Kambula forced out to give Samoa the throw-in. 
but it won't happen because the 10 minutes is up. That was the last play and a three-minute half. And look, this 